Hello everyone, my name is Michael. I make video games. I'm currently making this one. It's called Bannerman. Well, it's been a while. I've been busy and Bannerman is happening. Uh, first things first, Bannerman was successfully greenlit within a week. Which is super great, so, uh, so that's a thing, awesome. Bannerman will be on Steam eventually. The whole game just keeps getting more and more complete with every week, so here's a somewhat lengthy rundown of the game's progress from the last video to now. Okay, well, uh, levers and other interactables are now in the game, allowing you to open up new areas to explore, find items, and so on. I also have sneaky little triggers to manipulate these as well, allowing me to do very nasty things to the player. The doors that you see here in particular feature pretty prominently in the catacombs, as well as serving to gate off boss encounters. As you can probably hear, we now also have some proper sound effects which replace my very early placeholder beep boop sound effects that I had in since right at the beginning. Sounds currently implemented include swings, blocks, impacts, heavy impacts, death sounds as well as our uh, outer combat sound effects such as footsteps and the rustle of clothing. The footsteps in particular are pretty cool. They change in pitch and effect depending on the floor surface, which gives a nice effect that I'm uh, pretty happy with. It's all about that sweet, sweet ambience. And speaking of ambience, I've finished off a couple of background tracks for the first couple of levels. And uh, Bannerman now has a dynamic music system. Some of the new tracks to go with the system are now mixed and present in the game. The dynamic music plays different tracks depending on your position in the level, what's happening to the player, if you're in combat, etc, etc. As you can see in here, it makes a huge difference to the game. Audio is super important for establishing a game's mood and tone. Um, like in Bannerman, where you're hit with heavy waves of hopelessness and despair. Same with the soundtrack to this video series. Hopelessness and despair. Moving on to other things, I'd like to introduce you to the most basic enemy in Bannerman. I've named him Bunt. He is a kind of like a peasant, like a peasant levy, I suppose. He's a very basic enemy that exists to introduce the player to combat. He only has two attacks, a block and his basic movement. He performs all of his attacks in the high stance only, meaning if you hack at his legs, he's pretty much done for. Uh, at the moment he goes down in only one hit, but this might change depending on things and balance and other stuff. Even as a basic enemy type, he can still actually do some decent damage to you if you bugger up, um, misjudge the distance, or you zone out for a second, so he's still pretty deadly. On the topic of enemies, the big fella that you would have seen in the last video and also briefly in the green light trailer is all finished and ready to go. Now he is one of the first more difficult enemy types, so he has a couple of sort of unique abilities as far as the other enemies go that we've seen so far. 
Now the first is that he can chain attacks together into combos, whereas all the other enemies so far can only do one attack and then start again. So he can do a total of three attacks in one combination. He does not get staggered upon being hit because he's big and tough. Uh, he does not get staggered when he hits your block because again he's big and tough. But he is not invincible. Now he doesn't have any armor because he is a big shirtless lumberjack type fella. So even though he has lots of health, the basic fast attacks do quite good damage to him. Uh, he also doesn't have any blocks at all, and due to his size, all his attacks come from above, and they're all high attacks. So you don't have to vary your stance to defend against his various attacks. He's definitely a change of pace from the uh, basic enemies we've had so far though. I have spent some time doing up a few tiles for the very first level of the game. This acts as a prologue and something of a tutorial to ease players into the mechanics. I am working on this level now so that I can start testing the first section of the game and can see if my tutorials actually help the player understand how everything works without being overbearing. I am a big fan of game tutorials that teach you the mechanics through you actually progressing through the game, encountering and defeating obstacles with what you have available and using experimentation to learn. Learning without having to rely on walls of text or big buckets of speech from other characters explaining all the ins and outs and the controls. But it can be a fine line between a tutorial that doesn't get in the way and still teaches you what you need to know and dumping the player in the deep end without any understanding of anything because that just leads to frustration, screaming and general negativity. On a personal level everything is going really well and I'm actually super confident about the game at this point. Uh, last month I was definitely waning a bit, it had been uh, over a year since I started and I hadn't really had any proper time off during that year uh, and it was getting pretty tough to be enthusiastic about working on the project <laughs> and um, the quality and speed of the work on the game really started to suffer. But I um, took a week off last month completely removed Bannerman from my life for seven days and uh, I've come back with a, I don't know, a, a renewed sense of enjoyment for actually working on it and everything's going really well and I'm ploughing through the work that I need to do, at least over the last few weeks anyway. We'll see if that holds up for long. I don't know how much longer it's going to take to complete Bannerman. Uh, there's still a lot to do. I've I've got four or so more levels to complete, I've got more enemies and bosses to do, NPCs. But the majority of the actual systems, the combat, the interaction, movement, music, sound, well they're all either complete or close to complete. So I'm definitely closing in on the finish line. I, I guess I just don't know how far away the finish line actually is at this point.